James Watt was, was active as a scientist through most of his life. The question of what kind of scientist he was is a contentious issue, actually, among historians. There's been a fair bit of controversy about Watt's status as a scientist. Was he really a genuine uh, natural philosopher? Um, or was he a bit of a scientific um, dilettante? It seems to me that we can find a person who was constantly engaged in philosophical activity and in experimental activity, much of which is reported in his correspondence. In this hidden activity, um, there is a very interesting and a very creative natural philosopher to be found. He was uh, an ardent experimenter. He had the inclination always, whenever he came across a new project, to do research, to do experiments. And very often he, he seemed to kind of lose himself uh, in that work. He, he tended to experiment way beyond the requirements of the, of the practical project. If we talk in terms of pure scientific activity, it's perhaps not well known that he has some claim to be the discoverer of the compound nature of water. Water was thought to be a, an element until well into the uh, 18th century. The idea that water, when heated, com is converted to steam was something that obviously interested Watt. This raised the whole question of the nature of airs. James Watt's work has had a considerable impact on the wider world. Obviously the main impact is through his improvements of the steam engine. They made it possible for steam engines to be located uh, away from sources of fuel because he made, he made the steam engine much more um, efficient. He also found ways to convert the reciprocating action of a, of a steam engine, the up and down motion for pumping, uh, into rotative motion that could then be used uh, to run machinery. The rise of the factory system full of machines, spinning machines and weaving machines, driven by steam engines, was one of the leading sectors of uh, industrial development. And so Watt's work was, was very important to that burst of economic growth that we often refer to as the Industrial Revolution. In many ways, what epitomizes broader developments in science and economy in 18th century Britain. <laughs>